I will be amending the third article of the 21st Amendment. The amendment should specify a minimum legal drinking age for every state. The drinking age should be lowered to 18 because citizens are legal adults at the age of 18 and they gain the responsibility to purchase and use tobacco products, to be married and to vote. Citizens gain the ability to change themselves and their country and the right to consume alcohol should come with these new responsibilities. Although some may argue that 18 year olds aren't responsible enough to drink, a lower amount of 18 to 20 year olds will binge drink because they will be able to drink in controlled restaurants where they will be monitored instead of being at unsafe, unmonitored parties. Lowering the drinking age will also allow people to become more uh, responsible and used to alcohol, making them more aware of its effects and helping them make safer decisions. Overall, lowering the minimum legal drinking age will make young Americans more responsible and mature. I am amending the Second Amendment by stating that citizens should have the right to bear arms with the exception of automatic weapons. Uh, three reasons for this. Safety is a huge concern, considering the fact that the U.S. has one of the highest murder rates in any country. A uh, second reason is the gun control is a huge topic in the United States uh, concerning schools and automatic weapons used in those trage tragedies. Second reason, the founders of our countries have, country has uh, had no intention of using automatic weapons. Uh, they considered that for well-regulated militias. And third reason is automatic weapons, in my opinion, are only for killing people. And the definition of an automatic weapon is that there is um, many bullets fired <laughs> per second. Um, some people who would uh, oppose this amendment would be the NRA because they believe that uh, any type of weapon is uh, fits under their right to control. And uh, I think that this will, amendment will uh, protect the people and that is what the Constitution is all about. I am amending the 14th Amendment, Section 2, which states that anyone born on American soil is an American citizen. My amendment will still allow people born here to be citizens, but mine would make it to where your parents have to be either legal citizens of the United States or going through the process of becoming legal residents of the United States. And this would cut down on um, illegal immigrants coming here and just having kids and being, being deported. It would also reduce those children that have parents but they're illegal immigrants so that they're not in the foster system anymore. And um, it would also help with uh, getting through the people that are illegal immigrants into the system so that they can be counted for taxes and such. I believe that there should be truth in a person's sentencing. For example, if someone is sentenced to five years in jail or prison, they should have to complete their sentencing without any opportunity to get out, such as bail, um, no, release, no early releases, and probation. I believe this because I think that it is the right thing for a person to pay for what they have done and I think it's unfair if there's any other option for them. Um, many jails have um, a population that can be um, let's just say large and they don't have any room for any more inmates so they give people the option of early releases or probation, which helps them have more room for people who have committed harsher crimes. Um, I think it is best if people suffer the consequences of their actions and uh, um, stay true to their sentence that the judge gives them. 
I believe citizens 14 and older should have the right to choose which parent to live with or who will be their legal guardian based on relationship, living place, and or anything the young citizen feels is significant to prove their side of the argument. I believe that students this age or in this age range are mature enough, are psychologically developed, and um, this, if not allowed to choose which parent or guardian they would live with could possibly result into mental health issues uh, and this could also result into um, failing grades or low grades in school or the desire to drop out, um, lack of communication with other students, teachers, or anyone that is surrounded with them and could uh, affect how they feel just of life in general and could lead to depression also. I have had to deal with this personally with the divorce of my parents and when my dad became sick and I know what it's like to go through this and it's very difficult to go through it and I think I was mature enough and knew how to handle myself and my brother when we were taken away and into a foster home. My amendment is women should be ensured the right to equal pay as men. When the Constitution was originally written, um, women did not play a large role in society and not at all played a role in the workforce. But over time, this has significantly changed and women are very important now. Um, women earn 77 cents for every dollar of a man and this pay gap starts right out of college. In the first year out of college, women earn 80% of what their male peers earn, and 10 years later, it goes down to 69%. Women are responsible for providing for themselves and are sometimes the main provider for their family. They are twice as likely to work in an occupation with median earnings for a full-time work below federal poverty level for a family of four, so with this amendment, women by themselves or if they were in a family situation could be more prosperous and successful. The Equal Pay Act of 1963 and the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act should um, cover this issue, but businesses and corporations find a way to work around this. Acts can be worked around, but an amendment to the Constitution could not be. Um, women are working just as diligently as men with equal skill and have equal education, so their right to equal pay needs to be ensured by the Constitution.